I'm Howard Hale with the Harvest USA Report. I'll conclude a series of interviews we've had with Floyd Gabler of the U.S. Grains Council right after this. Here's an outstanding horse sale that you'll find on agsearch.us. It's Harley Torrier Auctions Mile High Select Sale this Saturday, the 29th, at the Rocky Mountain Horse Expo. 64 head of good, solid, broke horses, several gentle enough for the whole family. Go to agsearch.us and type mile high in the search bar for all of the details. That's agsearch.us where you'll find the mile high select sale and over 8,500 other ag events and businesses. That's all on agsearch.us. Today we conclude a series of interviews that we've had with Floyd Gabler, who is Director of Trade Policy for the U.S. Grains Council. Here's some information he'd like to get out to producers. We've obviously had a tough six, seven and years here of lower marginal return, and it's been exacerbated by trade war. It's the barriers we've been facing. And I would say that farmers should look at what's happened to date as positive because we have turned things around in the right direction. I'm hopeful that we'll have a trade agreement with the United Kingdom sometime this year. I think the administration is committed to opening up trade with other countries. They announced just a couple weeks ago uh, one with Kenya. We're hopeful that they'll focus on Southeast Asia, where we believe the growth in most important markets are, particularly Vietnam, and to a lesser extent, uh, Indonesia, Philippines. I think, again, I just I want farmers to understand that we are on a more positive slope here. Floyd Gabler, the Director of Trade Policy for the U.S. Grains Council. Thanks for joining us. Always great to have you along. May God bless and you come back in. Join us again, won't you? I'm Howard Hale.